Dysil Kim Gibson. Dysil Kim Gibson slash da I slash slash. Spill slash slash KM slash slash GI Zetan slash. Born 1938 is a Korean American documentary filmmaker and author. Her films and writing focus on issues of human rights, overlooked periods in history, and Asian American diaspora. She is well known for her book and film of the same name, Silence Broken, Korean Comfort Women. Both the book and the film are award-winning historical accounts of Korean women forced into sexual servitude by the Japanese army during World War Roman II. She has been recognized and funded by the Rockefeller Fellowship, the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, and the MacArthur Foundation. Her awards and honors include the Asian American Media Arts Award, the Kodak Filmmaker Award, and Sin Golden Eagle. Early Life Kim was born in 1938 in Sinchon, Hwangi Province, in an area which would later become part of North Korea after the division of the peninsula. Kim's early life coincided with the end of Japanese rule in Korea and World War Roman II. During World War Roman II, Korea was forced to support Japan's military, and 200,000 Korean and Chinese women and girls were forced into sexual slavery and labeled as comfort women. The history of Korea during this era has been a frequent subject of Kim's work. At age 7 in 1945, Kim and her family moved across the 38th parallel on foot into South Korea. Her family was deeply committed to the Korean independence movement and to Christianity. Education Daisil attended the Yuhu Girls High School in Seoul. She went on to obtain her master's degree in theological studies from the Methodist Theological Seminary in Seoul in 1960. In 1962, Kim moved to Boston, Massachusetts to attend Boston University, where she obtained her Ph.D. in religious studies. She published her Ph.D. dissertation in 1969 titled The Doctrine of Man and Irony is of Lyon. Career, Rur. After graduating from Boston University, Kim taught religion at Mount Holyoke College from 1969 to 1978. In 1978, Kim began work at the National Endowment for the Humanities working on media programming grants. While working at NEH, Kim met and worked with Don Gibson, whom she later married. From 1986 to 1988, Kim Gibson worked as the Director of Media Programs for the New York State Council on the Arts. She left NISCA in 1988 to begin freelance work as a filmmaker and author. The first film Kim Gibson was involved in was released in 1991. America Becoming was sponsored by the Ford Foundation and directed by Charles Burnett. Kim Gibson co-wrote the film with Burnett. The film considered growing diversity in America through the stories of newcomers and established residents in six American cities. In 1993, Kim Gibson and two other Korean-American women, Christine Choi and Elaine Kim, released the documentary film Sa Agu. Sa Agu is Korean for April 29, the date the Rodney King riot began in Los Angeles in 1992. Sa Agu uses newsreel footage and interviews with Korean-American shopkeepers to tell the story of the King riots from their unique perspective. The film was aired by PBS as part of its independent film series POV TV series on September 10, 1993. Our 2004 film Wet Sand, Voices from La 2004 also deals with the aftermath of the Rodney King riots. Kim Gibson's third film was released in 1995, titled A Forgotten People, the Sakal in Koreans. A Forgotten People tells the story of 43,000 Koreans who were brought by the Japanese to Sakhalin Island during World War Roman II for forced labor. In 1999, Kim Gibson released a book about the history of Korean comfort women during WW2 and how the women's lives were impacted. In the year 2000, Kim Gibson's film Silence Broken, Korean Comfort Women was released. In 2014, Kim Gibson's most personal film, People Are the Sky, was released. Kim Gibson returned to North Korea for the first time 
in almost 70 years for the film, exploring the social history of North and South Korea through her own story. The film uses interviews, epic images, and graceful musings to provide history and explore if North Korea is still home. Film Festivals In 2011, the fifth annual Korean American Film Festival honored Kim Gibson in Manhattan with a six film retrospective and discussions led by her longtime collaborator, Charles Burnett, the United States' longest running Asian film festival. The Asian American International Film Festival presented Kim Gibson's latest film, People, Are the Sky in A Los Angeles Asian Pacific Film Festival honored Kim Gibson with the Artist Spotlight Award in 2016 for People, Are the Sky. Book Book Silence Broken, Korean Comfort Women Mid-Prairie Books, 1999 Filmography America Becoming Writer 1991. Saw Igu co-director, producer, 1993. A Forgotten People, the Sakhalin Koreans director, producer, 1995. Silence Broken, Korean Comfort Women director, producer, writer, 2000. Wet Sand Voices from La director, producer, 2003. Motherland, Cuba Korea USA director, producer, 2006. People Are the Sky Director, Producer, Star 2014. Personal Life While working at NEH, Kim met Donald Gibson. The two were wed on October 1, 1979. Don Gibson died in 2009. In 2013, Don Gibson's posthumous memoir, Iowa Sky, was published by Shoulder Friends Press. The book was compiled and annotated by D. Sill, and described their partnership as soulmates. Shoulder friends was a term Dicil and Don used to describe their close relationship. The term is a direct translation from the Korean word Egeeting Mu, meaning friends who can put their arms around each other's shoulder. Kim Gibson resides in New York City.